Alright, hey guys, so we're back on Upper Mississippi River Valley. So, uh, while you've been gone, I've been making some progress. A lot of progress. Very nearly, I say very nearly finished. Quite a long way through field 42, which is a huge field. Uh, as you can see, the last time you were you were here, we were sort of all the way over there. And I've been, now we're all the way over here. We're just starting to get to the nitty gritty parts. Uh, the AI help has sort of messed up over there somewhere, which is quite frustrating, but um, managed to sort of get it off right again. That field is very nearly drilled. It's been decent. And you can see a few bits that have been missed here and there, but I'll just whip around that and sort that out. Um, what I've decided to do, I'm going to bale, bale the headlands with a Heston baler. <coughs> so we've got some straw bales. But then I'm actually going to fire, like forage wagon the rest of the straw and stick it in the silo. So we need to get some propane. Uh, because I was looking at uh, the prices here. I'm scrolling through. So there's lots of stuff you can sell on this map. Uh, you can actually sell diesel for some reason. Um, road salt for some reason. It's worth nothing but you can flour, bread, cake, butter, honey, uh, but you keep scrolling down, I think I've gone past it, or have I, there's propane anyways, you, you can buy it there, propane, uh, I'm sure you buy it from the farm shop, uh, anyway, you can even sell dirt for some reason, pass and grain and export, or literally buy anything, uh, where did I find it, I'm sure you can probably do it on other maps as well. Um, straw. I'm sure I've, I've literally seen it. Yeah, straw, there you go. So I can put it in the fermenting silo, you see. Uh, but I don't want to sell it to the fermenting silo. So I'm not sure if how that works. But I can sell it to Patson's Grain and Export, like £63 a litre. Uh, and I thought this is a pretty massive field, so it's, it's worth picking up um, and sorting out and probably putting some sort of conveyor system together and loading it into Arctic trailers. So rather than bail all of it, I mean, I'll probably put some in the cow pen as well, just so they're well stocked, and then sell the rest. So that, uh, that's probably worth doing. That will give us some capital to do something with. Uh, some stones as well, we can sell that packs and grain and export. Don't have a massive amount of that, so it's probably not worth doing at this point. Um, yeah, we propane for some reason. Yeah, twine. But yeah, lots of lots of stuff you can sort of buy and sell. Anyway, so we need to um, just keep the combine going. I can't remember how full. I'm thinking, yeah, he is full. He is full. We've got the baler ready to go. He's full. He needs emptying. Where's the combine? The combine's over there, so we need to turn this monster around. Which is always fun. I know I said I was going to swap it, but this has just been working, so I've, I've sort of stuck with it. I actually really like the mod to be fair. I love the tractor. So the, I'm, sure, I'm so sure this is the biggest field on the on the, the game. If it's not this, it's 27. But 27 sort of tails off into that weird little bit. It must be this field. But anyway, spent quite a lot of time doing it. Uh, enjoyed it actually. Trying to do all the stuff in between. But the ultimate thing is to not stop them. Not stop the AI helper. There we go. Right, so he can carry on. So, while he's doing that, we'll get in the Magnum and just empty this trailer. So, 
because obviously now we're reasonably close to the farm rather than being all the way down there now. Makes it slightly less of a journey. I mean, where I placed the um, silo, just, you know, on the other side of the farm wasn't the best, but, you know, it's what we had room for at the time. But yeah, make it, making really good progress. So obviously that field's drilled with grass, that field's now got soybeans on it, this field we're going to have to collect up. I'm going to bail, I say, the headlands quickly. Got a nice, got a nice new tractor as well, two wheel drive, 230 horsepower, John Deere. We've still got half a million pounds left, I should have said it's the dollars really. But again, I want to keep as much of that as possible to invest in cows. That's what I want to do. Oh, I did buy as well a, a forage wagon as well. That's stuck in the shed. Uh, I bought the TARDIS XL. It's a cool name, the TARDIS. Some of you may have heard of that mod. It's a um, forage wagon. It's part of the Lizard XL pack. It's got slurry tankers and stuff in it. They're not interested in the slurry tankers or anything. Just I just wanted the forage wagon. They did all the stone picking with that little tractor. Did a really nice job as well. I do want to plant some corn as well because I do want to use that dryer. I want to see how that works. So I know I'm going to press escape and it's going to annoy me but I'm going to do it anyway. I'll do it once the trailer's emptied a bit more. Because uh, yeah, we've got a fair bit of oats to sell as well. So that'll be worth selling again once we've got you know, a nice arctic trailer's worth. I'm not even upset by it anymore. It's, it's mildly annoying now. I, I could stop it by changing the auto save interval, I suppose. Uh, what do we have? 167,000 these exactly. He's got a nearly full grain tank, so we need to go to the chaser and just empty the chaser a bit. hopefully beat the combine. I don't think we're going to beat the combine. We're going to have to enter the combine. Priorities keep the combine going. I want to get this field done. Because I don't want to bail the headlands because then the bales will be in the way of him turning round. Because then I'll just be yeah, shooting myself in the foot then. Is not really ideal. Yeah, he's got a full tank, so we've got to go and rescue him first. But I don't think. No, we are going to have to rescue him from this one, because when he comes back around the next time, he's not going to be able to pick back up. It's not the end of the world, but he has finished in a in a bad spot. So I am going to have to squash some crop, unfortunately. But it is what it is. I've been squashing it because I've had to, to you know, the, all the way through. All you can do is minimise how much you're squashing. Yeah, 
See, we've not got a massive amount left to do now. So I'll have to finish off some of it. But that's not the end of the world. But I might go and get the uh, forager out. The trouble is, I'm always feeding. Always, but not feeding. I'm not always feeding. Just empty. Just empty the chaser bin. Just a bit too far away on that one. go. Yeah, we're doing well. We're doing well. Right, that's him sort of sorted. So what I think we'll do is we'll grab the chaser bin. This has this is cruel really. I don't think this is gonna power it very well. I mean it might, that might surprise me but I doubt it. This is the only spare tractor I've got at the minute. But at least we can bring it to the field. And then it's ready for action. So yeah, what we've got, and I, I did paint it some custom colours, I went for a, a nice a nice jet black with some case I eat red. I think we'll try it, just see if, see if it wants to... I mean, it, it'll turn it over, no doubt. Whether it'll be able to move forward at a speed that can be registered is, is another question. Especially when it starts to fill up, of course. Of course. for the closest row. That's power in it. It's moving. Ah, no bother. Absolutely no bother. So now we're going to have to just help the combine out a bit. Be. I'm just carefully watching what he does here because he, he looks like he's thinking about it. There is no way he's actually thinking about it. He's not going to back all the way down, is he? I think he's back. I think he's backing all the way. No, no, no. Make a bit of a mess of it, but call me mildly impressed. Call me semi impressed. The pillar's just blocking my view there. 
call me moderately impressed. Oh. Fan, fan dabby dozy. Well, we'll get this one row done anyway, and then we'll go and empty the grain trailer. This is a fantastic little tractor, this is. I've always had a soft spot for two-wheel drive tractors, because they could just, especially, not little, little ones, but just, I don't know, 130-ish 100, horsepower ones, because they could just do everything. You get in them and they just they just do oh, I no, never do this and it's just it, they just do. Put it on an Arctic trailer, yeah no bother. Put it on a plow, yeah no bother. We'll make it tow some at Daft, yeah no bother. Put it on a baler, yeah no bother. They just do it. Look. Absolutely love. Oh it's got how oh, you got a full tank already? I didn't even see the, the warning, did you? It must have come up when I was too busy having my mind blown by the AI helper. Stopped on the wrong side again, but whatever. There we go. But yeah, we'll go and empty the grain trailer now. Well, not now, once he's finished emptying. And then we'll, uh, yeah, empty this a bit more, and then we'll get, get back on with. Um, just collecting a bit more, a bit more straw. See if we can empty it in the silo, or we'll see if we can empty it in the dryer. I think I'll empty. No, I'll empty one load in the cow shed because then that's that's a good start there. Yeah, that's a good idea. I like that idea. One load in the cow shed. I should point out these would be pretty hefty loads, the 200,000 200, liters or something you get in the, the Lizard XL. No, they're not the Lizard XL, it's the uh, TARDIS XL, isn't it? Right. Right, another load. So this will just about, just take us over 200,000... Yeah, just take us over 200,000 litres in the silo, so that's, you know, that's a good, lo a good, good Arctic load. A couple of Arctic loads. Few it loads. Right, Certainly, it's not like a porridge factory or something on this map. Like Ready Break, that is my absolute favourite. I love Ready Break. Like, absolutely love it. Not the chocolate one. The chocolate one's rubbish. Just the, the normal one. Absolutely love it. Can't eat it anymore though. It's really disappointing. Makes my stomach hurt. <laughs> Still eat it occasionally though, even though I know the consequences. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it'd be nice when that's all grown, then we can attempt it to round bale, round bale haylage that. Because I have a tasty, tasty John Deere uh, round baler, oldish one. Not old, old. Uh, belt, yeah, belt one, variable chamber. That that that'll be a nice one. A nice wrapper as well. 
That'd be nice. Awesome. That's a nice little paddock there. Got a nice um, international harvester mower as well. I keep finding all these nice American mods. But then, I am, then again, I am actively looking for them because I am really enjoying this map. Right, that's another another load in the sh in the silo. That's the field. I mean, the I bet the combine's about full again. And mind you, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be too full. Might might just be able to squeak emptying the chaser bin. Yeah, I'll mop that up off screen. There's not much left to do. At least that's again another another nice job done. A different crop, not one I've done before. And then I'll probably yeah, it's got a nearly full tank as well. And then I'll probably go through what else we can do on this map. I'll probably start working towards something like that. I'm not big into forestry just because I find the controls and everything just a bit too... I don't want to say delicate, because it's not delicate, it's finicky. Finicky is probably the word. It's something I do want to do, but it's just I find it very challenging, I find it very tricky. But then again, I'm out of practice with it all. Right, that's another full full grain trailer. And he's got a full tank. Right, at least we can empty him a couple more times with this now. We are getting there. I think what we'll do, we'll get this guy emptied, we'll finish that row, go and tip it in the cow shed, and then I'll cut the video, and then uh, when we come back, this field will be done, and then we can actually start doing other things, <laughs> rather than harvesting the same field, because this feels like it's gone on for a long time, which it has. So that's him off. Off he goes. And you, Bonnie. That doesn't seem to. Oh, Bonnie go. Oh, cool. Bonnie back on. Right, let's get back in the John Deere. We'll finish this row. Go and tip it in the cow shed. Hopefully, if I can find the trigger point. I had some trouble with that on Buckland the other day. Obviously no fault of my own, obviously. Um, what do we try and fill that? Let's try and fill it. 
fill it, drive, drive, well, you get it somewhat full, because we've only got 50,000 50, litres. Might as well make it a worthwhile trip. And at least do a, a run back, since we're driving back anyway. That should be a hundred thousand litres, you know, that's, that should do them a couple of days, and that's worth, you know, mug spreading. Press with the speed of this as well. I, I do have a suspicion that uh, this is this has been tweaked slightly. I mean, I would have I would have liked it more if it had kept the weight on because it would have made it a bit more challenging. Because as much as I love this little tractor, you know, 130 horse, it would have been funny if it was it was you know bucking a bit or struggling or something. But you know, to each their own. The other thing, well, will this fit under the uh, roof? I've just thought, or the, the you know, the yeah, the barn door should do. Might have to have a recce on for it and just see where the trigger point is as well. Right, so there's coming up a hundred thousand liters. Yep, just over. So that's worth tipping. One hundred and two thousand five hundred. Bed up, PTO off. Just over half full. Right, back to the farm. Right, there's no, oh, it's got a mini full grain tank already. I mean, it's nice because we're getting a lot of yield, but I need a break. Right, I'm sure this is the cow. I'm sure it is. No, this is the pigsty. But I had a 50-50 chance of being right, didn't I? I mean, normally for me I'm wrong every time, but... I could have a 75-25 and still be wrong. Right. Open. Making no difference at all. So this is the ranch. I'm not seeing any triggers anywhere. Tip straw. They're milk tanks. There's the parlour. I should just tip it all out here, do you? Must do. Simples. That makes life easy. Can leave the gates open. It's got a cattle grid. I 
Hopefully that's the right place. So uh, it's got to be, and it's got to be, surely. It's not going to be, is it? It's not. It's, it's just not. Well, that's a kick in the face. So where do we put the straw? Right, well I'm going to cut the video here anyway, guys. And I shall figure it out on my top. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to forget about the world. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.